We do have uh, the former chief of staff, jo uh, Johnny Osei uh, Kofi, uh, on, the, on the telephone. Good evening, sir. We're grateful that you could uh, make time to join us. So you, you, you are putting on record that a total of 641 vehicles were handed over appropriately to the current MPP administration? Yeah, that's what uh, I'm saying. Mm, so are you able to tell, I mean, I know that uh, the MPP side, uh, the government team should be answering this question as well, but are you able to say emphatically that none of your, your, your members, that the former appointees under the Mahama administration had taken any car home, that is not due them? Yeah, that is exactly what I'm saying. Mm, so where are these 641 cars? What we can do now uh, to help everybody, ourselves, the government and Ghanaians, is that the team that did the handing over on the transport and logistics uh, should uh, be able to meet and reconcile the figures. Mm. Because if we begin to talk uh, on air, in the papers, on TV, etc., etc., we will never come to a conclusion that will be satisfying, you know, to three sides. Mm. That is mm. the government, then mm. the Argon government, and then the people of Ghana. Mm. I think that we are all here in this country. The personalities that did the transfers, they are there. We should be able to sit down and do the reconciliation. Mm. Mr. Kofi, Mr. Kofi, I'm not cutting you in, but I, we know that if you say the cars are there and the officials who handed over these cars are there, it's a pretty straightforward thing. But for the current government to say 200 of the vehicles cannot be traced is, is a serious matter. So uh, will you tell us who perhaps received the keys for these uh, 641 cars you've just told us about? That is precisely what I'm trying to drive at. What I'm trying to drive at is that who received which keys, who received which cars, who saw which cars, the location of these cars, whether they were all at the uh, 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 presidency, or some of them that were assigned to ministries and so on were there, we should be able to find out. Mm. Because 200 is quite a large number. Mm, yes. And um, I think to bring matters to uh, a healthy conclusion, I think that is what both sides must do to help Ghanaians to understand it. Mm. But I do not believe that any uh, 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 functionary of the uh, Albon government, that is the NDC government, you know, did take any of these vehicles uh, uh, into their private homes. Mm. Because the vehicles were never registered in their names. They don't even have papers on the vehicles. They are all uh, 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 in the archives or the, the, the offices of the, of the, of the uh, Flagstaff House. You know, so those, those things can be certified. Is, because yeah. if you take a, a government vehicle home, how are you going to use it? Who is going to register it for you? GVLA will question you. Uh, uh, customs will question you. Uh, you will be found out. There's no way I think anybody you know, can take these things and think that mm. uh, the police will not uh, stop you somewhere to ask for your papers and you don't have it. It's not healthy. Mm. We know, also... So I, I believe mm. that uh, the statement that has been put out calls for an interrogation of the uh, uh, whole process so that we will find out whether the 200 vehicles are actually missing or mm. cannot be traced. But Mr. Kofi, your, your, your statement, the press release you issued, uh, stated emphatically that... Uh, Mr. Ahin's comments represented what you call a continuation of the distortion and bad faith that have characterized the conduct of the MPP side of the transition team. That's a serious statement to, to, make, an emph to make emphatically, especially under the circumstances. So you say they're distorting the facts, so it's not 200. Or you, you mean that there couldn't possibly be uh, 200 cars that cannot be traced? I, um, I, I am saying that if uh, Mr. Ayan 
It's saying that 200 cars cannot be traced. What does that mean? Does it mean that the cars don't exist anywhere, you know, in the government circles? So I still believe that the, the, the meeting that must be called by Mr. Ahen or the appropriate uh, 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 offices, you know, of the Flagstaff House, should be able to establish mm. that. Within a week, we should mm. be able to come to a conclusion on this. Mm. But I believe that 200 cars cannot just get missing. Cannot just get vanished like that. But, uh, Mr. Kofi, we're also hearing, we're learning that uh, some of the vehicles were revalued and sold. Can you confirm that? And under what circumstances were these vehicles sold to uh, former government appointees? I think that that was part of the uh, uh, transition arrangement. So the transition team must have records of which cars, you know, were, you know, properly you know, allocated to uh, government functionaries who went through the process, you know, to acquire them. All these things are on record. Mm. Right. Uh, Mr. Kofi, we're grateful for your time. I know that this is a matter we need to make time extensively to explore all the angles involved as uh, these allegations are pretty serious. But 